10 million credits. I, I mean, just look at that fucking number right there. We're going to be opening 10 million credits worth of packs today. And this is taking me a long time to get set up. And let me just go through real quick and show you guys what I'm up to. All characters are level 20. You can see all the way even my ultra rares. Almost all my ultra rares are level 10s. You see those. The only one that needs them is the gladiator. And no, I don't want to go there. I want to go see my collections for the guns. The main thing that I'm missing is 50 ultra rare cards combined out of all these. So basically, I need 54 cards. And we're going to see what the drop rate is for 10 million credits, which took me a very long time to save up. So it's going to be 100 premium Spectre packs. I'm just going to dive right in, start opening these shits up. Let's see what I get. Now, oh yeah, and here's the other thing. All the, uh, those new guns, which I'll talk about. The Viper S and the Katana S and all that shit. Oh god, I'm gonna get all of those. But, um, essentially what happened was, this, uh, people are gonna ask how long did it take me to save this up. It took a long time. Initially what I was gonna do was I was gonna save through the Memorial Day weekend. And then I was gonna be like, ah, eh, whatever I have, I'm just gonna open it up that day, do the live reveal. And then Hatred said... Well, why don't you just save up everything? Why don't you just go for 10 million? So I was like, you know what? That's not bad. So after Memorial Weekend, you know, holidays and whatnot, why is the store so slow? I don't know why it's so slow. But anyway, after Memorial Weekend, I was like, yeah, you know what? Why? There's my first N7 card. Let me talk about the N7. It's Krogan Gladiator. That's what I'm looking for. So I was like, you know, might as well just save it, right? So it took me. You know, all the Memorial Weekend to save up the six million, and then it took me another week to do the additional four million. You know, part of that is, you know, the time that I have to play and whatnot. So it, it took a while for me to save that kind of money. But anyway, now that I've saved up all that money, now that I took my time to do that, I figured, yeah, you know what, fuck it, let's do the review. Let's see how this shit looks. Hundred packs in this motherfucker. See how long this is going to take me. And obviously, I'm going to get all these gold ones. That's all I'm really getting right now. Now, not too long ago, people said that... Well, not people. Bioware said that they nerfed the store. They, they said that they were going to lower the drop rate of the expert packs. Before that, it was sort of a pity timer. <clears throat> people said the pity... God, this store is so slow. It just it just doesn't scroll long. You know, I'm not even going to flip shit over unless I see an ultra rare. Those are going to get to level 10. Obviously, I have enough. I have more than enough money in yeah, no Ultra Rares. But anyway, people said there used to be a pity timer on these expert packs. If you opened up 10 expert packs and you didn't get anything, it would automatically give you an Ultra Rare. They changed that. Bioware nerfed that shit for whatever fuck reason. Because obviously, they don't want people to get good shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, people can't have good shit in this game. They said, no, nah, fuck it. There's an N7. Let's see what it is. It's the Paul. I already finished that gun. I'll show you my challenges. I'm almost done with a lot of things. But essentially, they said, okay, we're going to, you know, nerf the expert packs. You're not supposed to get any good shit in them anymore. And people were like, what the fuck? Why are you going to bother with that shit? So, this is sort of a little mini test. Not a formal test, but sort of a little mini test. There we go. Valkyrie 10. That's my second level 10 gun. The Dawn. The shotgun is the other one that I have. But anyway, they decided to nerf it. I don't know why they nerfed it. There's another one. What is the number four I'm up to already? Piranha. I finished that weapon too. And it's almost all the ultra res. Anyway, they decided to nerf that shit, and now it seems like the premium packs are going to be the ones that give you the best kind of shit. So that's why I'm going to be buying the 100 premium packs, seeing what I get, hoping I get some good stuff. I don't know, what am I up to? Five already? Five? I'm supposed to get... Essentially, what people said now is it's a million is supposed to give you one ultra rare. So in theory, I should get ten. I think my drop rate's a little better than that. I've always said I think my drop rate's a little bit better than that. So I'm hoping for 15, 12 to 15, let's just say. We'll see if I get that many. I think I'm up to five right now. This is going to take me quite a long time to get through all this shit. You see, I'm not even looking at crap right now. I don't really give a fuck. The store is very laggy. I don't know how the fuck a store lags. <laughs> you're just buying shit. All you're doing is buying stuff out of the fucking store, man. <clears throat> Whatever. It's lagging. Can't do anything about that. And then you just see all those gold cars. They just keep pouring in they'll they'll eventually get all to level 10 and whatnot so keep rolling along now as i'm talking about the gold cards this was seriously the stupidest thing i have ever seen what bioware has been doing they've been sort of trickling out 
little content here and there. And it seems that they're not going to roll out any full-scale DLC. It seems that that's what they've stated. There's another one. I think that's number six. If I'm not mistaken. Crusader. Done with that gun, too. Instead of doing big DLC packs like they did in Mass Effect 3, they're doing... Look at another one. I'm Gladiator 8. Oh, I didn't see what else I got. I think I had a, a charger there. A gold charger. Anyway, they used to roll out these bigger DLC packs. They're not doing that. They're doing these little trickles of DLC, these free things that you're going to get. And then after you get your free things, then they're just going to move on to other little free things. But you're not going to get this big download of content, this massive content drop anymore. They're just It doesn't seem like, oh, it looks like I got all the golds. Because now I'm just getting blues. So instead of that, they're going to be rolling out smaller content drops. And part of that that they decided to do was roll out these five gold guns that you're seeing. Basically, they took the common guns, the bronze guns, the cheapest guns in the game, the easiest guns in the game, and instead of buffing them, what do they do? They roll out a gold version of them that does about 25% more damage. It's like, what? Well, why not just buff the guns? They're like, oh, some people might want to do some more damage with the Avenger. Some people might want to do more damage with the Katana. Okay, buff that motherfucker. Ooh, almost bought that. <laughs> I think I have enough to buy a couple of those, if I'm not mistaken. But it's like, why are you bothering giving us gold guns of those? Just give us what we want. Just give us the fucking regular, different gold guns. Don't don't make them ultra rare. Make like a decent gun and buff the crappy ones. But instead of buffing the crappy ones, what do they do? They say, ah, oh, no, we're just going to roll out gold versions of them, Valiant. I'm done with that gun. <laughs> and you guys are hearing me say I'm done with these guns. I'll show, uh, if I have time, I'll show you my challenges. Hopefully this video doesn't go too long. But it's really stupid that I, I've lost track of this shit. I don't, I don't even know what I'm up to. Seven, eight? I have no idea. But instead of just giving people better guns, they decide to just reskin all the shit that we already have. And I think that's three in a row. I haven't used that gun yet. Actually, I, I mean, I, I tested it, so I haven't used it in a full game. But it's next on my list. I wanted to see how many cards I would get for this motherfucker. And nothing on that one. I shouldn't be flipping the shit. I should just uh, see if there's an N7 card. I was, <laughs> was kind of hoping I was going to get an N7 card there. But anyway, it, it's just really stupid that instead of just buffing the guns, they just give us better versions of them. So it allows people... Oh, and that's another thing. Some of the challenges are locked, whatever. I'm not going to worry about that shit. But it, it's just stupid logic that instead of just buffing a gun, oh, look, we'll just make a different version of it so you have more shit to get in the store. It's just fucking stupid, man. Now, obviously, I've saved up my money. It took me a long time to save up my money. I just finished the Naladin, so I won't be able to use that. But I've saved up a lot of money playing. I've been hitting up these Apex missions, the gold Apex missions. Basically, if there's a decent Apex mission that gives me 15% extra credits and XP, that's what I've been playing. Some of them are a pain in the ass. They have like those modifiers, you know, Destiny players know the Nightfall modifiers or whatever the fuck. So it, it, they have stupid shit like that. Basically, if it gave me 15% extra XP or credits, that's what I was playing. Just hoping to to get some good stuff. But this is going to take me a long fucking time to get through all these goddamn money. Look, I'm not even halfway through yet. And I don't know... How many I'm up to? I lost count, but I think I'm close to 10 already. Right? Would you guys say I'm close? I don't know. I'll have to, you know, I'll do after this is over, after the live portion's over, obviously I'll go back, I'll recount it up, and then I'll show you exactly what we get. I mean, that way people don't have to count along in this motherfucker. It'll be in the comment section, whatever. Or description, one or the other. So that way I could just watch it. I could say, oh yeah, I got me this many cards. There's another one. Eagle. I haven't used the Eagles, so that's a good one. You know, one of the things that I, I did was, I, I've told you guys, I wanted to do all the challenges. So, I've done all, almost, well, not almost all. I got the gold assault rifle challenge out of the way. There's still two gold, uh, there's two, two assault rifles that I haven't used. I haven't used the Zalkin, and I haven't used the Halberd, because apparently they were real crappy. So, there's another N7. And Hurricane, haven't used the Hurricane yet. That one I've been saving. I want to save some good guns. But anyway, I've used all the shotguns, with the exception of the katana, because the katana, um, the, the challenge wasn't working. I used all the assault rifles, except for those two. I'm on sniper rifles right now, and I just finished the Naladin. 
I just started on the Black Widow. And then the last one's gonna be the Inferno. The Viper is, oh, there's another one. <coughs> that is the Naladin 10, even though I just finished it. I already finished the um, the uh, shotguns and the assault rifles. So, so the sniper rifles essentially are just those two. Now that I have this Viper, in theory, I could use the Viper as opposed to the Inferno, but apparently the Inferno's really good. So I'll probably use the Inferno as my last one. I'm using the Black Widow right now getting used to that shit. I was just using the Naladin, which is basically a, a fucking rocket launcher. Not even a sniper rifle, it's just a rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm trying, I, I wish there was a way you could just like buy points quick, like buy packs quickly. It, it just doesn't do that, man. The next one on my list is going to be, I'm finishing off on the pistols. Hoping I'm getting a lot of pistol amps in here because those are going to be coming up soon. So I saved, basically what I did for the pistols was I saved three good ones and three absolutely awful ones. The three awful ones that I have to do are the Carnifex, the Phalanx, and the Predator. But now that the Predator has this gold version, obviously I'll use that. I'll use the golden version. It'll do a little bit more damage. Carnifex, I, I don't know what the fuck happened to that gun. It's just not as good as it used to be. Phalanx is another one, not as good. But on the flip side, I saved three ultra rare guns. I saved the Hurricane, which I knew I was going to save to the end because I wanted a good, there's Krogan Gladiator. I just need one more of those. And then she'll be maxed out. I don't even think I have points in her right now. I respect all my, once I got all my characters to level 20, I just respect all of them. I was like, ah, fuck it. Let me just start over from scratch, redo everything. That way I could just get a fresh start on all the characters. Put Now that I know how the characters and the powers are supposed to work, I'm able to sort of reset everything. Start from the beginning, get them all right again. Yeah, this is taking fucking forever. I'm not going to get a chance to show my challenges. But essentially, the challenges, I have all the biotic gold, all the combat gold. Um, I would have tech gold, but as anyone who's played the game knows, that's glitched right now. Stealth grid does not work. When stealth grid does work, I'll have that shit done. They have those uh, two really long challenges. The one bonus stat to level six. I'm not close to that. I think my closest is recharge. That's at level four. There's a Valiant nine. I'm trying to see if I get like a double uh, double N7 pack. That'd be nice to get a double, M M uh, double N7 pack. Motherfucker, can't even talk. But um, got through all, all the, shit, almost did it again. I got through all the basic challenges, all the enemies. So right now, I'm just feel like I said, I'm working on the sniper rifles and the pistols. I got two sniper rifles left. The ultra rares. Get those combats. Get those uh, the challenges for those done. Then go to the pistols. Work on those six. And that'll be it. And then it's just grinding my ass off till I get to the to level six on a power. There's another one. I know I could use XP boosters for those, but uh, to me that's a waste of XP boosters. For that, I could just save the XP boosters till they roll out another character. Apparently the people who data mined the game said there's another character coming. The Angara Exemplar, and it has some shitty powers, although, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Bioware could always change that. They're basically just reskinning characters at this point. So, kind of fucking irritating. I don't even know how many fucking N7 cards I'm up to, but uh, I got a good, good drop rate there in this 10 million. Coming towards 1.6 million left. Let's see what I got. Black Widow, that'll help. I'm working on the Black Widow right now. That's the gun that I was just using to get me to 10 million. I've been grinding all weekend the uh, the Apex mission, the weekend Apex mission, the one with the the remnant. Because the weekend missions, no, normally if they, if they give me a good weekend mission, I'll work on them. But I think today was uh, pistol increased damage with no credit or experience boost. So I was like, nah, I ain't doing that shit. And then yesterday's was the assault rifle one. I was like, nope, not doing that one either. So basically, the only one that was giving me the extra XP and money was the remnant one. The one in the long ass remnant ruin. I, it, it's not a bad map. I do like, that's one thing I will say that Bioware did decent on that map is that it was a little something different compared to the other maps. You know, it opens up after a certain amount of time. So I did that one. I did that with the uh, Turian 
So the Turian Soldier obviously makes anything better. But that gun really tore ass through everything with the Turian. I mean, you just sit there and just, I think I had to use it. I think I used the Turian Havoc, actually. Well, I'm sticking. There's another one. Can you give me that Gladiator 10? Nope. Oh, nine. Use that gun, too. Use all of them. Basically, trying to get Eagle, Ushior, and the Hurricane. If I could get... No, why did I flip that? If I could get those, that'll give me the final ones. Coming up to the final amount of credits here. Hopefully go out with a bang. Hopefully get a double N7 at some point. Come on, double N7. Nope. I do know that I finally refilled up all my stocks in... Um, all my consumables, you know, all the boosters that you use. Ah, ah fuck. That's all right. I know I was gonna buy some supply packs at the end anyway. But um, I, I, I was running low on all kinds of like assault rifle amps and sniper rifle amps and pistol amps. So hopefully, all those blue cars that I'm not flipping over are those things. I don't know whether those are them or not. I guess we'll find out after this. <laughs> I'll go over and look at my inventory and see what I was able to replenish in this motherfucker, man. But, oh, that was it. That was my last one. I didn't even realize it. Alright. So, let's go take a quick peek. Oh, no, I wanted to see. All my consume. Yeah, everything's filled there. Let's see. The weapon ones. I didn't get that many. Oh, pistol. Thank you. There we go. All right, that's really it. So my Gladiator got to nine. I replenished a whole bunch of Revive and RPGs. They seem like just my setup for my Avenger. And real quick, go into Collections. And those are all of them that I got. So that's it for now. Anyways, that was it. 10 million credits in the store. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.